One of the more frequently requested examples for NGUI is uh, how to center on the draggable panel on an object within that draggable panel, whether it's when you release a mouse button or when you click on it. Think Skyrim style UI. Well, I'm going to show you just how to do that. I have a brand new scene here with nothing in it. I'm going to delete the main camera and create a brand new 2D UI. Now I'm going to add a background slice sprite to it, just so I can actually see it. Now this slice sprite, I'm going to darken it and it's going to be the background. And also uh, it's going to show the dimensions of the panel. Next I'm going to add a child object to the original panel and call it drag panel for clarity's sake. I'm going to add a UI panel to it just drag and drop. Now this is a secondary panel. I'm going to set it to be soft clipped and I'm just going to specify one from here and size is going to be 200 by 200 which matches the sprite. I am now going to add buttons inside this draggable panel. One button and just copy and paste it a couple of times. There we go. Now I'm going to select it, uh, select draggable panel, hit Alt Shift P to make sure that the coordinates are correct on all the buttons and I'm just going to position it to make it look more appealing. There, now they're evenly spaced. Next thing I need to do is actually make this panel draggable. To do that, I'm going to attach a draggable panel script to it. I'm going to specify x to be 0 and z to be 0, meaning it can only be dragged vertically. And I'm going to also turn off the restrict within panel. Now all that's left to do is actually react to clicks on these buttons because when uh, someone clicks on a button we want to center the panel on that button. I wrote a quick script for that and it looks like this. On click I grab uh, the draggable game object and I'm going to be springing it to uh, the inverse of transforms local position. Now this is going to work because the panel is actually located at 0, 0, 0 and the buttons are relative to it so I can simplify the calculation to do just this. Of course if the panel was actually located somewhere else the script would have to be uh, slightly different. It would have to look like this. I'll take the transform position of the object that I'm clicking on which is in world coordinates and I'm gonna convert it to local coordinates of the panel by doing drag panel transform world to local matrix. And this part is still the same, the inverse of the value. Now the inverse is actually needed because in order to center the panel on an object we actually need to move it in the opposite direction. Let's see what happens. First of course we have to have this uh, center on object script be attached to all of our buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to specify the drag panel over here. And now we'll see what happens when I actually play and click on the buttons. Hey, look at that. That was easy enough, right? Thanks for watching, and I hope it helps.